Yesterday, someone on X asked what the actual benefit is of adding tooling to an NPM workspace mon repo. So things like NX or Turbo repo, why would you actually want to have those and not just go with a plain NPM workspace mon repo? So I recorded a quick video explaining mostly the concept of task pipelines and how they can actually improve the DX. And additionally, obviously about caching and speed, which can give you even in a small mon repo, quite some DX boost. And Jacobo chimed in there uh, as well with an interesting question uh, as a kind of like a follow-up almost. How do you solve task pipelines with long-running tasks? So usually when you develop something, and let's actually jump over to my honor repo here. We have here our React, uh, this React Vt application, Remix app application, which both depend on these on this shared UI package. Now in development mode, what you would want to do is something like I'm running here NX. Uh, let me have a look here what the actual serving is for that one is dev and next dev react beat or the according npm workspace command and this now launches the dev server on 5173 so if i navigate to that i see my application running now this part in here is actually my shared ui component so in usual development scenario what you would go is say oh i actually want this uppercase and i want this with a colon All right and so i save this and i would expect in a normal development workflow that Vite picks this up. But there's actually no way because Vite depends on the build artifact of that package. So it depends on that this output folder, which didn't change because we didn't rebuild that specific package. And so even though we have here a build pipeline defined, that is just working for build and is usually just working for non long running tasks. So what I would have to do is here, go ahead and say NX build shared UI and we would now build that package. Now we can see the V server, the HMR server here updates it. And if I chime back here into my web view, I see the count is being updated on the, on the component. But that's obviously a very tedious workflow. So what you want to have is really a watching functionality. And that is actually not as trivial as it might seem to implement in a monorepo scenario. Because if I have a graph here, and let me open up here the NX graph to show the visualization of this monorepo. I might not just have a single package I need to watch, which would be very straightforward, but I might have a series of packages. So that React V or Remix app might depend on some feature library, which in turn might depend on some order for library, which in turn might depend on shared UI. So I would need to watch all of them in parallel and spin up like a watch command for all of them. Now, since NX has already that kind of knowledge of like that dependency tree that we just saw, we actually implemented a command that can do that automatically for you. And so if we go to the NX.dev docs, there is something that is called workspace watching. And what that allows you is to exactly solve the issue that we just talked about. So there is an NX watch command where you can either watch all of the projects and then run a specific command. And it will give you the name of the actual project. And then you can just basically construct here your build command, for instance, or your test command or whatever you're trying to achieve. Now, especially further down, we see something that is more interesting for us where we just want to watch some project, in our case, for instance, the React Vite project, and then include all its dependent projects as well as a watching phase automatically. So we don't have to specify all of them manually, but we can have one command that then holds even as our monorepo structure changes. And then we want to actually just run the build for it. So let me copy this over and try this out here. So if I do something like this here and I want to watch my React Vid app. And so this now starts watching. And now we can see if I go here to the button and I change some of the things in the components, you will see that the actual project name here gets echoed out. And based on this, we can now actually construct our command. So we can say NX watch and we want to watch the React Vid as our starting project, include dependent projects. I should make me actually close this here so it's better visible. And then we now want to run the actual command. So I want to run something like NX run, NX colon build. So I want to run the build of that project. So again, now if I here change this, I save, we can see it now runs NX run shared UI build. And so with that, we have now an automatic watching going based on all of the dependencies of my React Vite project here. So let's just make one optimization because clearly what also happens right now is if I go in here and I change something in my React Vite app, 
it is also being built because we are watching that project as well. And that's probably something I want to avoid. I'm already running the David dev server on main project, so I don't really want to rebuild that because that's already been taken care of by, by Vite. So what I can do here, and we might actually want potentially optimize this command in the future to kind of have a better syntactic way of defining this for just watching the children, basically the child component, the child dependencies rather than the actual application itself. But I can work around this by using something like run many dash t build. And so I want to run the build for the projects, which is here in this one here. So my uh, shared UI in this case, or any other potential dependency I might have. But I want to exclude, and that's why I'm using the run many because that has an exclude command, react v. So in this case now, I'm watching still the dependencies. So I'm go, if I go here, I can change this and would rebuild here my shared UI project. Now it has been cached, so it doesn't really do anything. That's another benefit of having caching active. But even if I change my React V project here and I save, it doesn't do anything. So it runs clearly because it watches it, but it's being excluded, so it doesn't uh, run the effective, effective the build. So now it's up to us how we want to actually use this in our setup. So I could uh, see, for instance, that we go into React V and define here some tasks, some scripts that allow us to do that type of watching. So I could see how we have here maybe a watch uh, dev command or watch depths command, watch all dependencies, right? And so I can use that here. Let me actually just make sure we escape this properly. And then I could see how we have potentially a dev watch command which would now run both this and this in parallel. And uh, now we can do that uh, by installing something like npm run all, npm run all package. So once I have this installed, I now have something like run p for run in parallel, where I can give it basically here uh, the def and the watch depths command. So copilot already helped me there. And so with this now, I should be able to do something like nx and now I want to use that dev watch for the React V project that we have in our workspace. And it will now run the watching as well as the dev server for V. So if I go here, I refresh here, count is zero. Uh, so let me actually go now to our component and say count is. And then you see here there's one updates and here's updates as well. Because the build has happened in the background for all our dependencies. And so we get back that kind of like interactive development flow where we don't have to think about what to build just because these are different projects here in my monorepo. So this is one way to specify it. Uh, alternatively, instead of using here um, that script that we introduced in the package JSON, uh, you can also use a way that NX uh, allows you to do. So in NX, you can also have a product JSON file. And so let me just copy here in the entire file for being faster, just to show you how that would look like. This is basically just an auto way of defining, um, like a more advanced way of defining package JSON scripts, basically, where we give it a name, uh, basically what type of project this is, which is relevant just for an X, the actual source root. And then we can define these targets, which would be equivalent to our package JSON script. So here you can see I define also dev watch. I use a specific executor uh, that's nothing else than kind of like a, a node script in beh behind that takes a couple of options and then runs processes. And so here in, indeed I give it like run please the vid command and run that watch command that we just defined. The current working directory is that React Vite project here and run them in parallel. So that would be just an alternative to using uh, run p since you already have an X, so you don't need an additional dependency. So again, we might do some optimizations on this NX watch command to account for this specific use case. You could do a bunch of other things with it. So hope this was helpful and you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments and see you in the next one.